Satan went to Eve, the woman first, and said, you can be like, you can be like a God. Adam was already a God. So who was she trying to be like? Adam, her husband. Then she went and got deceived. And then they got put out. Now all of us die now because a woman wanted to be equal to the man. Right. I didn't hear the last part where you said that y'all would probably still wear pants, right? Right? These your daughters, right? Y'all want kids? I already got kids. You already got kids. So y'all want children as well, just like mom. Well, you have them already. What are the effects of women wearing pants? Do you know? Has anyone ever went through it and told you what that does? Yep. All right, let's read it in Romans. Let's go to Romans. Matter of fact, go to 1 Samuel 15, 23 first, and then we'll go to Romans. Because a lot of times we don't really understand what happens. When a man wears a dress, what happens to him? So what happens the opposite then if a woman's wearing pants? <laughs> see what I'm saying? You see, it's easy to point it out when it's not you. Yeah. You can point it out on someone else, but why can't we uh, say, you know what? I have a manly spirit Because that's what happens according to God. That's why when a man put on a dress he acts like a woman Because he's in the wrong uniform okay. But when women wear dresses, how do they act? Most of them act reserved not in the tight dress where they were villain. No, 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 no The modest one where they're not trying to uh, attract sexual attention. That's what modesty is y'all have on pants and they're tight So what you're trying to do is attract the wrong attention Now you'll say no, that's not what I'm trying to do. But yes, you do you pull them up and you look in the mirror and see what your butt look like <laughs> See what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm talking about because that's what that's what that's what happens. That's what you've been taught. <laughs> <laughs> you said that's what you've been taught. What you've been taught. Exactly. <laughs> but somebody got to break the cycle. Yeah. Or the same mistakes will continue to happen over and over and get worse. And I'm going to show you in the Bible what God says about it. Watch this. Go ahead. First Samuel chapter 15 verse 23. Uh -huh. For rebellion is as the seed of witchcraft. So when someone rebels against God. It's witchcraft. It is idolatry for someone to go against what God said. That's what he just said. So whenever we say, I love God. No, nope, you hate God. It's the opposite. Because if you loved him, you would do what he said. Because that's how he said to love him. The flowers y'all have, y'all cannot give them to God. You cannot hand them to him and say, I love you, Father. The only way we do that is actually do what he said. So if we don't do what he said, it's actually the opposite of what we really think. He sees it as hatred, as evil, as idolatry, as witchcraft. We see it as, I'm just taking my time. No, he see it, I might kill him. That's how we see it. Right. And I'm going to show you. Well, so you read that, right? So now, let's go to Romans. Let's go to Romans, the law of spiritual. I'm going to show you because the effects, like y'all said, when a woman wears a dress, he acts... When a man wears a dress, he acts like a woman. Like you said, they try to. But then why do they be extra? The men be more feminine than the women. Because they flame it. And God messes them up to show how evil they are. See, we think that, that we think that God loves everybody the way they are. He doesn't. He hates the sin and the sinner. Go ahead, let's read it. Let's read that the law is spiritual. Romans chapter 7 verse 14 For we know that the law is spiritual So it puts a spirit on you whenever you do or do not do what God said So if you do what God said, you'll have the right spirit you're supposed to have If you don't do what God says, you have another spirit on you And that spirit that you would have would be like a man If you're a woman and you're wearing pants You will buck up at men You will try to fight men You will argue with men she laughing because she probably do it. But listen, you're not supposed to be like that though. Because only one person supposed to wear the pants in the house and he's a man. Right. Not woman. But because the woman wants to be like him, ain't that what Eve tried to do with Adam? 
Ain't that what she did? Satan went to Eve, the woman first, and said, you can be like, you can be like a God. You know? Adam was already a God. Right. So who was she trying to be like? Adam, her husband. Then she went and got deceived. And then they got put out. Now all of us die now because a woman wanted to be equal to the man. Right. The very same spirit Eve had is what's on our sisters today. And they'll tell you, nope, I, it's not on me. I'm not the same. Wearing pants is the same. Worshiping and doing Christmas birthdays is the same. Going to church on Sunday is the same. Calling yourself outside of your God-given name is the same. Arguing with men is the same. But no one teaches that out of the Bible. And that's what y'all been learning since you've been here. Y'all found out y'all are Israelites. The only people that God loves is you. But the only people he's going to punish because we sin is us too. He don't punish nobody. Let's watch this. Amos 3. Amos 3 and 1. I'm going to show you. The reason why we're in America. Are those Valentine's flowers? We've seen a lot of people with flowers around here. Why y'all got flowers? What's going on over there? It's just pretty. Okay, y'all just bought them just because they're pretty. All right. All praises to the most high. Don't do Valentine's Day. Y'all doing Valentine's Day? You doing Valentine's Day? All right. You got a boyfriend? You married? You married? You married? Well, you're not married. You want to get married? Would you like to be? I've been married. Okay, would you like to be? I know you said you've been married, but would you like to be married to the right person? Definitely. To one that's going to do his job. Correct. Now, how would he then, if he's doing his job according to God, how would he see you? How would he see me? Yes. Oh, I if he saw you today, well, how would he see you? Right. Now, if we and that's how and that's how that's why I literally black women are twenty five percent married, twenty five in their life. It used to be eighty. Just in the seventies, it used to be eighty percent. Now twenty five. One out of four black women get married in their life, not stay married, get married ever. So now we have broken homes because our women want to wear the pants or the man don't want to keep the commandments but y'all can't identify each other being jacked up because both of you jacked up right <laughs> and that's just the truth so watch this read this amos chapter 3 verse 1 hear this word that the lord has spoken against you O children of israel he said he's spoken against the children of israel that's who we are so he's talking directly to us that's who we talking to go ahead against the whole family uh -huh. which i brought up from the land of Egypt, see, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. He only knows us. We're the only people he know. Go ahead. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. That's what he said. You don't whoop everybody else, children, when they get wrong. You punish them. You wouldn't punish me because I ain't, I ain't your child. But you punish them because you gave them rules. God see us the same way and then we tell our God, our Father, I'm not going to do it. And then we wonder why we're in slavery. We wonder why our homes are the most broken. We wonder why our children grow up in the gangs and they fill the prison homes because of single parent households. The fathers ain't there because sometimes the fathers can't be. It ain't always that he left. Actually, there are studies that prove more times mothers keep their children from their fathers you know? because they want to fight with them instead of humbling down to them. Right. When father, but they'll love a man, it's even the same thing happens. Most women, or some, I ain't going to say most. I've literally heard this. We've been on calls, conference calls on the platforms we got. And we talk to people all over the world. And one day the topic was a sister wanted to get married. It was like, well, what about fatherhood? And punishing the children and disciplining the children. And the mother said, he's too rough with them. I said, well, do you love him? She was still married to him. She said, yeah. She said, I love him. I said, you like the man he's out? Do he beat you? She said, no. I said, do he take care of you? Yeah, he go to work. I don't even have to work. I'm a stay-at-home mom and I take care of the kids. But when he's, when he's punishing my son, he's too hard on him. I said, well, who do you think he's trying to recreate? Figure it out. Himself. Right. But our women would get in the way of that because the way they want to do it ain't the way he would. Now well, imagine if he was gone. That son would grow up effeminate. We see that walking up and down the sidewalk today. Right. 
because our sisters get in the way of the father's discipline. Discipline will keep our daughters from having marriage and sex outside of marriage. Right. Bring it out. Because they there and they got an answer to them. Most mothers, once that once a child get a certain age, they like, that's mom, I could take what she got, but you can't take that man. There's a different kind of disappointment when it comes to men, especially with sons, but you got daughters, even with daughters. Even with daughters. And we never come back to the Bible. What you got? What you with? What you read? Let's read it. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 1. Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with her hand. And that's what that woman online was doing. She was going to destroy her house because she was getting in the way of her husband and his son. When he's trying to make his son better than him, but she loves her husband and loves what he does for her, but she doesn't understand the way he became who he is, is the same way his son going to be who he going to be. Right. If she move out the way. So they was going at odds. Her and her husband been having problems because of that very reason. Because she wants to wear pants like him in the house. See what I'm saying? You understand what we're getting at? Probably. How old are you, sister? 26. 26, how old are you? 19. All praises. How do you, mother? If you don't mind me asking. 45? All praises. Here we go. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. That's, that's a commandment for us parents. We have to do this. Train up our children in the way they should go. Not the way they want to go. The way they should go. That doesn't mean they're not going to make mistakes and mess up. But they will always know you taught them God's laws. And that's what they'll come back to. Watch, read. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. So when they grow up and they do make a mistake, what I learned was God's laws. I'm going back to that because that was working when I was young. Versus now that I'm old and I made a couple of mistakes, let me go back to God. Because that's what my mother and father taught me. That's how you have to be. That's how you have to be even though they're a little older, but you still influence them a lot. That's why y'all out here. Right. They ain't out here with somebody else. They're out here with mama. Right. So you still have a great influence on their life. Because a lot of daughters at 20-something, 19 years old, they ain't fooling with parents at all. They out doing what the world they want to do. They, look, we can, we can invite them all we want. And they ain't coming. Because they won't go be wild. So the fact that yours is out here with you lets you know you have an influence over them. And it doesn't seem to be negative at all. It seems to be very positive. They will do and move how you move. You must train them how God said. If you don't, he's going to forget them and your grandchild. Hosea 4 and 6. I'm going to prove it. The way we are as parents will cause our children to go through hell on earth. The way we are. And we could think we're doing it right, but if it ain't according to the Bible, when everything happened, we're going to be sitting there crying, wondering what do we do wrong when the answer's been in here the whole time. Right. Let's read it. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because we all think we have knowledge. The knowledge is the commandments of God when you read Malachi 2 and 7. Keep reading down. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So because we reject God's knowledge, his understanding, the commandments, he said he rejects us. So imagine me. I want, a I want a wife. I want a godly wife. I want a beautiful godly wife. God will not give it to me if I don't do what he said. Now I am married and I do have a godly wife. But I also understand ain't no way that happens if I don't do what God said. So we want to be married. Our women, they say they want marriage and they want a certain kind of man. But our women are becoming those godly women that that godly man will see. He will look right past her. Go ahead. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Go ahead. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. That's the knowledge, seeing we forgot the laws of God. I will also forget thy children that's scary that is scary to me I got four sons if I don't do the commandments he's gonna forget my sons they have an 80% chance of going to prison if I'm not there and a lot of mothers don't understand when they're single mothers that's what they're doing to their children 80% chance they're going to prison Hello. if they're a boy if they're a girl I think it's like 60 that they're gonna have a record why in the world won't we just do what God said so then the prison won't be filled with our kids? 
That's what the Bible teaches. That's why it's important about the pants. Get rid of them because it puts a manly spirit on you. That man that you're looking for won't deal with you. Because he's going to say, if she won't listen to God, how in the world is she going to listen to me? You see what I'm saying? Like you, God got a hell to put you in. He don't. And you're not afraid of God. So what will you do to him? You'll fight him. You'll book up him. You'll argue with him. And he knows it because he don't got nowhere to put you. But God do, and you won't listen to God. You have no fear of God killing you. What in the world she think I'm going to do? You see what I'm saying? That's how godly men think. Godly men think just like that. If she won't listen to God, she ain't going to listen to me. So therefore, I can't deal with it because I don't feel like arguing every day, fighting every day. I'm trying to live right. She like, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go out here, go shopping on the Saturday. I'm going to wear my pants. He trying to be an example to other people on how to follow God, but then his wife ain't going to do it. Which lets you know at that point, he can never be a leader for his people because of the woman. That's how much power y'all have. A black man can never lead his people if his wife is out of order. That's in the Bible. Let's get that. Let's read it. Show you how important y'all are. If you, got a, if you have a man, if, he is not, if he's a leader, you must be with him. If you're against him, he can never lead because the people will be divided looking at the example that the couple set. Well, shoot, he can't even get his wife to keep the commandments. So why, why in the world would I follow him? <laughs> and God had it written. Let's read it in Timothy. Watch this. First Timothy chapter 3 verse 1. This is a true saying. If a man desires the office of a bishop, he desires a good work. If a man, the word bishop means leader. If a man wants to be a leader, that is a great thing. That is a great thing. That's what God is saying. Go ahead. A bishop then must be blameless. The husband of one wife. So the bishop got to be blameless. Where you can't speak evil of the leader. Because you see the leader, he's living what he said. That's why Malcolm X was so powerful. Anybody hear anything negative about his wife? Y'all never read nothing negative about his wife, even to this day. Right. Did she ever go marry another man? Anybody know? Why didn't she? Because she needed, because ain't no way no man going to come and be no leader like that. And you going to mean tell me she's going to go down? See, we think going down is money. No, 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 no. She married way up there. Now, of course, he was not following the Bible. He was doing the best he could. But because of the civil rights movement with him and Martin Luther King, we're able to stand on the corner and teach now. But their wives, well, you didn't hear no negative stuff about them. That's how he was able to be who he was. Right. Go ahead. Vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach. Not give it to wine. This how these are the qualities that that man gotta have. Watch this. No striker, no greedy or filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous, one that ruled well his whole own house. That's how we gotta be. Right. If a man is patient with his wife and kids, right? He ain't beating them up. He's guiding them, but he's not no weak man though. It's not what you read. He's ruling. He's doing his job. And everybody else going to fall under him. Well, he will get rid of you because he's a leader. And our women don't understand that today. That's why today they're like, well, the men got to be in touch with his feminine side. Where are we talk? Where does that come from now? I don't even understand what that means. You mean to tell me in order for a man to be a leader, he got to be a woman? Is that what we're saying? Because that's what women is looking for today. I want a man that's in touch with his feminine side. You what? You you want a you want a sodomite brother that wants men and women and you won't marry him? That's gonna bring the disease to you? That's what you're gonna do? That ain't what we read about a leader. Said he gotta rule his house. Because if a woman is out of order, how does he rule his house and tell me what to do? How does he tell my sons what to do when his own wife don't respect him? So a leader won't even stay with the evil woman. I'm going to show you that the Bible says that about godly men escape evil women. So when a man starts to, like, it's funny how you'll see when, when people grow up and they're young, they'll do all kinds of evil, have sex, and do all that stuff. They're not supposed to do it. But once a man makes a decision to get right and that woman don't follow, what always happens? She ends up lonely.
and he goes on with his life because she didn't want to get on board with him changing to be better. A lot of times, now you're saying it every time, because sometimes you got deadbeat dads that don't, just evil. I get it. But I'm talking about the ones that sisters do have opportunities to deal with, but they won't because they won't be who they're looking for. Right. Read it. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 26. And I find more beauty than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets. So God said it's worse than death for a man to be with a woman that is always coming against him, that's trapping him. You know how some women have babies to trap brothers up? God said it's worse than death for a man. So a woman is worse than death having to live and deal with an evil woman is worse than me dying. I'm not gonna just die. God said that's better for you. Go ahead. In her hands as bands. Uh -huh. Who in saw her hands as bands? Like you lock somebody up in slavery, dealing with an evil woman, that's how a man feels. Go ahead. Whoso pleaseth God. If a man wants to please God though, watch this. Shall escape from her. That's why a lot of the men that our women are looking for, they can't find them because they're going to find those women that don't live where they're from and go get other women because they'll humble down to them while they're trying to get right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, his word, his word.